Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can change a project frame rate even after you've already started a project, started to edit on your timeline, adding clips to your timeline, making cuts, and so on and so forth. So there's actually a good workaround if you need to change the project frame rate. So if you don't already know, the settings for your project frame rate are up in the file menu, and then you would go down to project settings. So in project settings, we would go to master settings here and you'll see that timeline frame rate is grayed out if you have already started creating a timeline and adding clips to it. So as you can see, you can't change the project timeline frame rate setting after you've already started a new project. But what you can do is create another timeline and then override the timeline frame rate for that timeline. So to do that over in your media pool, open it if you haven't already, just right click go to timelines and create a new timeline. So I'll just call this the 16 FPS timeline since that's what we'll change the settings to. And then down here in the bottom left hand section, uncheck use project settings and you can go to format and then the timeline frame rate over here can be overridden. So you can change it to some other setting. So I'll just put it in 16 frames per second so we can see the choppiness. Uh, but you could also bump it up to 60 frames per second if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and hit create here. So I do want to show that you have to create a new timeline for this to work. I'm going to right click on timeline one, go to timelines and timeline settings. Well, you'll see the settings that we just customized, but you can see the timeline frame rate here has already been locked in place. So once a timeline has content on it, you can no longer change the timeline frame rate. So what we do from this point, double click on the old timeline to open everything up. I'm going to command A or control A if you're on Windows, command C to copy everything. And then I'm going to go over to that new timeline we created, and then I'm going to command V paste it in. So we should have all of the cuts from before. I believe this would also include transitions. As you can see, as you can see, this doesn't automatically copy the markers over. So it's not a hundred percent foolproof method, but, but if we do find a point in time in our video and we start hitting play, then you'll see in this FPS indicator up here at the top, it does say 16 FPS. And you should see the video is quite a bit more choppy than it was before. So go back to timeline one and we can play some similar clip. I'll hit space and we can see that this timeline is playing in 30 FPS. So this is a workaround you can use if you've already started editing on your timeline and you want to create a new timeline that has a different FPS setting. As far as I know, you can't change it at the project level. But that's fine because you can just override it for any timeline you need a custom frame rate setting for. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. I hope this helped all of you out there who may have been struggling with this issue once you've started working on your project but you need a new frame rate. And I will see all of you in my future video content.